Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out on the lake today doing a bit of pike fishing. I have a few new lures with me that I want to try. I have a few spots that I haven't fished in a while though. I want to see if there's fish in. So hopefully I get a few fish to show you. So enjoy today's video. Now so, going to start off with the rattle trout. Trolling in about 40 foot of water along the outside of the drop off. So I'm just going to let it behind the boat. About 70 or 80 yards or feet, not too far. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully you get a fish to show you. And on my second rod, I'm going to be using the larger line shoot trout just to mix it up, two different baits. Still on the drop off, so hopefully we get a fish to show you soon. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm just following the outside of the drop off. I'm on the inside of it now, I'm going to go outside a small bit. I'm in 45 foot water. I'm finding at the minute, the pike are just sitting on the outside of the drop off and they're hammering your lures that's coming past. They're moving up then every now and again, so you have to keep moving. So we'll try this for the first few an hour or two and then we'll see if we can get a fish to show you. Okay guys we're into the first fish. Feels like a good one. Hard to tell with the waves. Just trying to manage the engine. The plane board hasn't released, which is never ideal. But let's try to get that in. Excellent. Feels like a good fish. Like a really good fish to be honest. Let's try to go across so my outside line doesn't get tangled in. I had so much line out, that's the problem when I'm trolling. It takes a while to get them in. Feels really heavy. Now, let's try to get this guy in. Feels like a really big fish. So we'll see now in a minute. It's just under the boat. That's really good. Probably 
ain't touching them either. Lovely in the net. Let's get this guy unhooked and get the other rod in. Okay, so guys, first fish of the day. Lovely fish, gave a really good fight. My line's got half tangled behind the boat, but we got her in. 95 centimeters, it's a nice start to the day on the large line through trout. Lovely looking fish. There's loads of power in her. So let's just get her back and release and hopefully get a few more. So here we go. Okay, so the first fish came to the large line shoot trout again. It's absolutely destroyed with teeth marks. So we'll stick, we'll keep her on, we'll let her out and uh, try to get a few more now. Now, so the wind's picked up outside in the deep water. So I came into the side of the lake to get some shelter. So I'm gonna do some trolling along the shallows using the small line shoot trout in brown trout color. So yeah, we'll see if this works. Now on the second rod, I'm gonna try on the, the Salmo slider just to see they'll take this over the other one. Now, fish on guys. On the Salmo slider, just after coming into the shallow water. Day is after turning pretty rough outside, so I have a bit of shelter in here. There might be one or two fish in here as well. Try to get this guy in the net. He's after absolutely engulfing that slider. Oh, in the net. After all, he's jumping around. Two seconds now, I'll get him on hook. Oh guys, pike number two, in very windy conditions. He absolutely swallowed the salmon slider. That's the lorry hook there, in roach color. So um, I hope you can see it there. But um, yeah, he absolutely swallowed it, so let's get him back. Feisty little guy. Also lads, um, just to show you that lure that he took a bit better, it's a salmon slider. Um, I've had loads of fish on that lure this year. Um, the, we the weather's after turning pretty sour outside, I'll show you there now. I'm in a sheltered bay there now, so it's, it's, it's nice and calm. But there, there wasn't hoping was I be able to stay outside there trolling. I had planned on doing a bit of casting, but the weather is absolutely shocking. Um, it's not raining around, it's just very, very windy. So we'll make the most out of where we are. I'm down here in one of the bays. I'm gonna absolutely rake it here now, try to get a few pike. And hopefully I can show you one or two more. So stay tuned. Now, so the wind and rain has started. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely soaked here. So hopefully it's just a shower and it will pass. Hopefully. <laughs> windy and the waves are building but um, it's important to take your time when the weather's like this and um, if I can find some shelter up outside the harbour I'll do a bit of fishing up there but if not I'll probably call it a day after this so we'll see you in a few minutes Bit of a funny one. I'm after catching a lure, a jerk bait. I think that's a Schwarzanker McJerk. But yeah, <laughs> that's a new one. Okay, so we found some shelter inside in one of the corners of the bay. So I'm going to go back to the shallow salmo sliders and see see if we can get a fish for the camera. So we we'll stay plugging away with two fish so far. So it's not a bad day. Hey guys, 
guys are into the turn fishing session we just put this lure out it's a small line shoot trout the pulse tail version and this pike absolutely smashed it so let's try get him in Actually quite a good fish. <laughs> it's full of energy, he only took it just behind the boat. Stripping line. You love to see it. Let's see if we can get him in the net. Hey, we got him. Now, let's just get the other rod in and get this guy unhooked and then we'll show you. Now guys, fish number three. It's a really nice pike. It's in really good condition actually. Really, really scrappy fight. I just threw out the line through trout. Pulse tail version. I'll just show you there now. That's the one he took. 20 centimeter. And this guy absolutely mullered it. Really hard fighting pike on a slow day. So, we'll stay going. I'm delighted with that. Down he goes. Now, full of energy, so we'll try to get one or two more. The weather is slightly calming down, but it's to pick up again in a while, so we'll make the most out of it. But we're still catching fish, so it's always a good day. Now guys, fish number four. On the same lure again, just a few minutes later. Is it quite a small pike? So I'll just grab him if I can. Here he is. That's how quick it is. Tiny little guy, let's slip him back. Now oh, off he goes. Okay, lads, fish on. Pike number five. This guy just took it in 10 foot of water, trolling it over a little bit of weeds. It's another small guy, so might be able to grab him. They absolutely love these little li lines with trout. Now, where is the pliers? Now, little hungry guy, so we'll get him back. Down he goes straight away. They absolutely love these little brown trout lures. It's the end of May, so you'd imagine the trout are higher in the water, so the pike, pike are smart, they'll follow the food. So that's why I'm using the little brown trout at the minute. Now guys, pike number six. Bit better than the last two anyway. Hammered the line shoot trout again, the small size. Still too windy to go out into the deep water, so I've just been catching all these fish in the shallows. Really good fun. You can never complain when you're getting this many pike. Might be able to grab him. He's barely hooked on the outside of the rock. <laughs> Relax. It's easier with the small lads to unhook him at the side of the boat because when they go into the nest, they just go absolutely mad. So 
There we go. Another fella from today. Let's get him back. That when he goes to cause trouble on the bottom. So really enjoying today's session so far. Okay guys, into pike number seven. Again on the small line through. Love these little lures. Getting loads of shelter in this little bay. The pike are definitely feeding in here, so. Let's see if we can get this guy now. There's another guy, small guy, but doesn't matter. Let's get him in. Whoa. You can see where he's hooked. Get the pliers. Oh, hook pops straight out. There's the pike. Absolutely smashed it again. Number seven back in the water. Now, back down to east, all the, all the roach and stuff that are down there. Now guys, turn it into a really good session. Um, what I'm doing is I came in shallow because it was too windy out, out deep. Um, I had planned on fishing deep all day, but plans changed, that's fishing for you. So what I'm doing is I'm trolling in a 10 foot of water, but my lures are only going down to about four foot. And the weed is really growing at this time of year. So the weed is halfway up the water and the lures are just coming just over up the weeds. And obviously the pike are sitting in the weeds looking for something to smash and then bang, the rod is just banging the whole time. I'm missing more fish than I'm landing, but um, it's really good sport, really good fun. So stay tuned, hopefully I get one or two more before I have to go home. Okay, I got a break in the weather, so I came back out to the drop off because I really think this is going to produce a big fish soon. So hopefully in the next few clips, I get a fish, but it's worth a chance while well, the weather is behaving, we'll give it a go. Fish on guys. It just came out to the deep water and bang. Planer board didn't release, as always, so try to get this in. He's still there? Yeah, he is. This guy took in 28 foot of water. Definitely feels better than the last few fish. There's always a few big predators on this drop off. This actually took the rattle trout. It's the first fish I've had on this lure. And it's a really nice fish, it's back there jumping. It's a really nice pike. Try to keep the rod down, stop him from jumping. That is not what we want. Let's try to get this guy in. He's just under the boat now. Yeah, that's a really nice pike. Looks like a meter fish anyway. It's gonna jump. Oh. Oh, stripping line. Oh. Power. <laughs> Unreal. Oh. So much power. Come on. No. It's taking line and that is tight. Come on. Into the net. Yes, yes, yes. Finally a meter pike. After all the small lads, it was worth the wait. No. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted with that fish. I have it in the net now, just have it unhooked, so I'm gonna lift it up for the camera so you can see it. But it is in unbelievable condition. 
Um, that one took the rattle trout. Um, it's a lure I'm going to be using for a while. I'm after picking up one or two of them in the larger sizes. So, oh, I'm just looking at it now. It's a savage fish. I'm just going to hold it up for the camera and then release it. So, two seconds. Now, guys, pike number eight. Finally, a meter fish, 102 centimeters. Unbelievable condition. The hit on her. And that's savage. Coming back out to the drop off, paid off. I got her in 28 full of water on a rattle trout. So there she is. Oh, some weight in her. Let's get her released. Go on. Down she goes. Savage. I love watching them swim off like that. It's so cool. So, pike number eight, really good day so far. Maybe an hour or two left, so we could get another one. But um, that's really good fishing. Eight pike in one day, one of them 102, the other one was 95, and the rest were all jacks. So, really good so far. We'll stay trying to get one or two more. Now, so I'm sticking with the rattle trout for a few more minutes. The wind's died down now, so I'm able to fish where I wanted to fish originally. So, just gonna let it out. Continue trolling contours of the lake. I have a lot of it mapped, so that helps. So if, if you're if you're watching this and you don't have mapping, don't worry about it, but it does help. So we'll see if we can get one or two more before we go home. You wouldn't think today was rough at all. It's flat cam here now. It's Irish weather for you now. Unreal. Now guys, into pike number nine. Feels like a good fish again. This is on the rattle trout. Yeah, it's definitely a good fish. I can see it behind the boat. Keep the rod down. Stop him from jumping a bit. It's coming in there now. He hit it a really good smack. The rod was just bent in the rod holder. Oh, it's a lovely pike. Get the other rod in. Now guys, hope you can see that. Absolute monster. Look at the belly on her. Oh. I can't get over that. She's definitely after eating a big bream. Probably a big two or three pound bream, maybe even four. Oh, such a big pike. Look at that head. So fat, 103 centimeters. So it's the second meter pike of the day. I'm absolutely delighted. I'm just going to get her released. Down she goes. Yes. Oh, what a result. Whew. Pike number nine of the day. Second meter pike. And that was a fat pike. I'd say it was just after eating a huge meal. And obviously it was still hungry because it took my lure, but um. The wind is picking back up. I'm gonna work my way back up home. Try to get pike number 10 before we go home. Okay guys, pike number 10 is on. I got in a big wave, so I have to be careful. I'm gonna sit down to fight this guy.
feels like a good fish again. Let's try to get this guy in the boat. Solid fish, eh? Anyway. Sorry for being quiet, I'm just trying to control the boat. Good fish. It's very windy. Let's see if I can grab him. Oh, he's not too big, actually. This guy on hooks. Okay, so I, I know that last clip was a bit frantic, but we got pike number 10 anyway. Um, I hit a bit of a hot spot, I found, I found a big ball of bait fish, but the wind is just picked up way too high where I was fishing, and it's just impossible to stay there. I, I know if I stayed there I would have got way more, but I'm going to make my way back home, um, I'm going to head back in around the back of the islands. I know, I know a good way back without exposing myself to the wind, so hopefully we'll get back to the harbour, maybe we can do a bit of fishing back there. But um, yeah, we'll try to get back there first and stay watch. Okay, so we're back up outside the harbour. Gonna stay here for the last hour or two, see if we can get one more fish. I'm being greedy now, we've enough caught, but we'll try to get one or two more when we have a bit of light. So, stay tuned. Now guys, pike number 11 today. On the small line shoot trout today, or this time. There he is, right there. Come here, you. One second, guys. No, sorry, guys, I had to get the pliers, so that's all it is. Pike number 11, having a great day, so let's get him back. Off he goes, like a torpedo. Now, guys, pike number 11 took the little line through trout. Pulse tail. Um, I started using them again recently and they always catch fish, so that's a 20 centimeter pulse tail. Good lure for anyone looking for one. But uh, 11 pikes so far, I'll probably head in soon. Uh, really, really good day. So, okay, lads, just in off the lake now. So, despite the weather, that is probably one of the best days fishing I've ever had on the lake. I finished with 11 pike, two fish over the meter mark. Um, the, we the weather was just mad. It was windy, calm, windy, calm, raining, no rain, and now the sun is splitting the rocks. So that's the Irish weather for you. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and share the channel with all your friends and family, anyone that's into fishing. I really appreciate it. 
and thanks so much for the support so far on the channel it's been unreal drop a comment on anything you'd like to see and uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you out here next time